So I just got back from Maker Faire New York and I got to tell you it was awesome. It was one of the best fairs that I've ever been to. I met a lot of great fans. I met some awesome YouTubers. And there's an image I wanted to capture so I decided to try and capture it in a lithophane which is a 3D printed image. So I'll show you how I made this and I'll tell you more about the trip on today's Filament Friday. So I arrived in New York Thursday night and met at the Fat Cap Makerspace. It was a meetup sponsored by Matter Hackers and it was really awesome. I got to meet Joel Telling, 3D printing nerd, uh, Jerry Berg, uh, aka Barnacles, and Preston of Press Reset. Plus I got to meet the Matter Hackers people. And this was a picture we took at the end, and this is the picture I wanted to turn into a lithophane. I found this site 3dp.rock/lithophane. You just upload an image, and it creates a .stl file. Now there's settings you can go and adjust. I frankly didn't know what to adjust, so I just stuck with the default. Maybe there's some things I could do here to make it better, but I ended up with this file, so I downloaded it and brought it right into Simplify 3D. And it looked pretty good. There's a lot of detail here, so we'll see how it goes. So now I needed to slice it. I decided to print it on my Monoprice Select Mini in PLA. And I read that you should print it at 100%, so that's what I selected. And a 0.15 layer height to try to get some of that detail. There was no additional stuff. And temperature wise, I just used the standard PLA settings. And from there, I sliced it. And once I sliced it, I could see there was a lot of detail to this thing. So I had questions of how good this would turn out, but that's where I was. So then the next thing I wanted was a frame for it. So I went to Tinkercad and I just made this simple frame out of block elements, put the words on the front or letters, Maker Faire New York 2016, slid in a block on the side that made it into a hole so I could slide the lithophane in, grouped it all together, and I had my frame. And this I wanted to print on the uh, Juan Ho Duplicator i3 Plus. So I loaded it into Simplify 3D and I had to put supports in the center so I used the support tool and then I printed this at a 0.2 layer height, an infill of only 30 percent and temperature wise pretty standard you know PLA settings and then this was ready to slice and I just checked the um, support material and it looks like it'll break away easily which it, eventually it did so I sent them both to the printers and let them go now let me talk about Maker Faire so Joel and I got to spend a day walking around checking out the different 3d printing booths together and talking about YouTube and everything else I tell you I wish we lived closer I'd love to hang with him more he's a great guy and we had a lot of fun check this out he keeps following me he won't go away <laughs> To meet Joseph Prusha. That was awesome. But when I walked up, he says, I'm not giving you a printer because you'll probably catch it on fire. I think he was joking. But he had a great booth there and he had his four color printer going. It was really awesome. This thing is going to be a top seller. There's no doubt about it. The Ultimaker guys are at the Thursday meetup and then this was their booth at Maker Faire. It was a busy booth all weekend. Plus, they have Barnacles there. He is just a funny guy, a great guy. Another guy I wish I could hang out with more, but he lives over on the other side of the country, just like Joel. I visited the CME CNC booth, and I got to see him put up the big part daddy. This thing is awesome. I even got a minor technical review of the thing. So this was amazing to watch. And then they also had some prints there, like this big clock that they had printed on the thing. But I'll tell you what, after talking to him, getting to know him more, it's a great group of guys. It's a great company. They're only about three hours away from me. At some point, I think I'd like to visit their shop. And I think they've convinced me that I need to start looking at Delta printers. I was excited to see the Fabricator Mini 2 at the Hobby King booth. Now this thing has a bigger build area than the Fabricator Mini 100 by 100 and it's heated bed and adjustable. But really, this is a Malian M100 that's been rebranded. At least that's what it looks like. And so it's very similar to the MP Select Mini or the Malian M200. So I expect it to print really good, but it's got no LCD display. So I hope or expect this thing to be even cheaper. How cheap? I don't know. They didn't have any pricing or any timing for release. But I'm excited to see if this is actually even cheaper than the MP Select Mini. Speaking of mini printers, 
James Carpino from MiniRap.com, he had these miniature printers all actually working, and they were about the size of my phone. It was amazing to watch. There were these community prints where a bunch of different printers contributed to this big bust of Ben Franklin. I could see where I could take my minis and print something really big like this myself. Now I'm a big fan of Jimmy DeResta's show, so getting to meet him was a real thrill. We got to talk a little bit and he remembered that I had done a print of one of his push sticks, so that was really cool. And you guys know I watch a lot of woodworking YouTube channels and April Wilkerson is one of my favorite channels and she's helped me actually a lot with my YouTube, so it was great to meet her in person. The best part of the trip was meeting the fans. I had so many people come up to me and say, I love your channel, I uh, wanted a picture, wanted to talk about things. I even signed a dead Da Vinci bed. I handed out a ton of film and Friday stickers, had some great conversations. It really was the best part of the trip. And it seemed like wherever I went, I ran into somebody that you know came up and wanted to talk about the channel or 3D printing or something. It was, it was amazing. It was the best part of the trip, no doubt about it. The print is done, but I could see there was a, like a little burn mark in the center, so there was some kind of moisture or something in this filament because it's been sitting around a while. But I decided to just print it again, but this is what it looked like coming off the printer. But I did go back and print it again, and the reprint did come out better. And then the frame came off the Wanho Duplicator i3+, Plus, so I put them together here, and this is what I had. It's not perfect. I can definitely do a lot of improvements, but it was a good first shot. So this didn't turn out quite as good as I'd hoped, but it's not bad, and part of it is I used too small of a picture, and there's a lot of detail in that picture to 3D print. So I'm going to have to experiment with it some more and see if I can improve it. But at least now you know the process of how to make your own lithophane. Now before I go, I want to say thank you to Matter Hackers. They were gracious in hosting the meetup for us. I got to meet Joel Telling, great guy. Jerry Berg, Bar A.K. Barnacles, great guy. Uh, Preston of Press Reset, <laughs> another great guy. It was, it was really, really fun. And meeting all the fans, you just can't beat it. But I'm, I get a lot of people asking me what printer to buy, what filament to use, and now that I know more about how Matter Hackers works and the people behind it, I can tell you, even more so, contact them. They're there to help you. They are really, really good at figuring out what you need and what printer to buy. And they got free shipping, I think, on most of their printers. So it's, it's really worth calling them and talking to them. Great group of people. I can highly recommend them. And the fact that they support this channel through an affiliate link, you buy through the link that's in the description, um, they give a little kickback to the channel, and I appreciate it. But that's not what it's about. It's about getting you the best support that you can get, and Matter Hackers does that. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, you want to see more, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to my Patreon account. My Patreon supporters help make that trip possible through their financial support. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Film of Friday. Now please enjoy the special performance of the Star Wars Death March by the Wanho Duplicator i3.